Chapter Sixteen of Revelations of Divine Love, read for LibriVox.org by David Barnes. Revelations of Divine Love by Julian of Norwich, the Eighth Revelation, Chapter Sixteen, a part of his passion. After this, Christ showed a part of his passion near his dying. I saw his sweet face as it were dry and bloodless with pale dying, and later more pale, dead, languoring, and then turned more dead unto blue, and then more brown-blue, as the flesh turned more deeply dead. For his passion showed to me most specially in his blessed face, and chiefly in his lips, there I saw these four colours, though it were a four fresh, ruddy, and pleasing to my sight. This was a pitiful change to see, this deep dying, and also the inward moisture clotted and dried to my sight, and the sweet body was brown and black, all turned out of fair, lifelike colour of itself, unto dry dying. For that same time that our Lord and blessed Saviour died upon the rood, it was a dry, hard wind, and wondrous cold as to my sight. And what time all the precious blood was bled out of the sweet body that might pass therefrom, yet there dwelled a moisture in the sweet flesh of Christ, as it was showed. Bloodlessness and pain dried within, and blowing of wind and cold coming from without, met together in the sweet body of Christ. And these four, twain without and twain within, dried the flesh of Christ by process of time. And though this pain was bitter and sharp, it was full long-lasting as to my sight, and painfully dried up all the lively spirits of Christ's flesh. Thus I saw the sweet flesh dry in seeming by part after part with marvellous pains, and as long as any spirit had life in Christ's flesh, so long suffered he pain. This long pining seemed to me as if he had been seven nights dead, dying at the point of outpassing away, suffering the last pain. And when I said it seemed to me as if he had been seven nights dead, it meaneth that the sweet body was so discoloured, so dry, so shrunken, so deathly, and so piteous, as if he had been seven night dead, continually dying. And methought the drying of Christ's flesh was the most pain and the last of his passion. End of chapter 16. This recording is in the public domain.